receive this rather special package today. I'm just going to see what's inside. Three boxes inside. Oh no, there's several boxes inside. Several little boxes. I wonder who will sell the most. And me, John, Tom, or Dave. There's a wager on it. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Here it is. This is a Dharma Bombs debut EP. Nothing to lose blues. Here's the back. And there is the inside. That's the disc itself. Released on Monday, uh, EP launches tomorrow night at Piccolo's in Budley. Starts at 7.30 with Alicia Green. Hopefully see you there. Very good evening to you. Welcome you again to another month of serious sessions. And in session live in the studio tonight, you're not going to believe who we've got. We've actually got the Dharma Bums. Say hello, guys. Okay, what we'll do is we'll kick off with your first track, which is... Uh, nothing to Lose Blues. And then we'll have a little chat and yeah. talk about how the band got together and everything else. So take it away, guys. <laughs> Woke up this morning Still drunk and confused She left me nothing Even took my shoes Nothing, nothing, nothing Sanchez. Mike Sanchez. Yeah. Mike Sanchez, yeah. yeah. We did a charity gig supporting him. And then Tom joined us at the end of 2015, I think it was. And uh, wow. that's it. And we've uh, we recorded an EP here, obviously. So where do your influences come from? Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. Because <laughs> it is quite... David your sound, Bowie. David Bowie. I was going to say, your sound's quite unique, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, mean when, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm... I'm um, I'm into my jazz, I like Sinatra, um, Mel Torme, people like that, and, I like, and then I like anything to like Hendrix, Robert Johnson, to Bowie, to Prince, to Michael Jackson. Just about every Just genre. Just about every genre of music. You know, soul, Sam Cooke, we love Sam Cooke. Sam you know. Cooke. Um, Me and John like Motorhead. <laughs> yeah, Tom and John are into their heavy metal Motorhead. Tom's into his experimental music. Yeah. That kind of thing. And Dave's more kind of just blues and roots music. And I, I grew up sort of listening to... Northern Soul at home, that was my mum and dad were very much into Northern Soul. They actually used to have a, uh, an actor, a DJ act called Brother and Sister of Soul. They won't no thank you for telling you that, there's a picture of it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like the wig out here, Dave, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, No worries. I mean, the thing is, they say, Dave, that, you know, men can't multitask. Oh, right. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get a load of stick for this, but at the end of the day, you're playing a guitar and doing a harmonica at the same time. It's like, so, you know, you can, quite clearly. Yeah, but. Some of us can. <laughs> so, um, first track, <laughs> first track, Nothing to Lose Blues. Yeah. Where did that come from? And so that's kind of almost like a little homage to Robert Johnson and that kind of Delta Blues kind of sound, which very much influenced it when we started. Um, I don't know where they come from sometimes. They just come from they anywhere. Just come out. They just come out. That's the, the best style. form of music, isn't yeah, it? It yeah. just comes out. And me and John on bass actually know that we go back 
Why to another, another studio a long, long time ago when I was making cups of tea and didn't even know about it, anything to do with engineering or anything. And we used to, um, we, uh, well, I used to be the, the tea boy in a studio that you used to rehearse at it's in Ice House, Ice House Studios. Ice Studios, that's right. That's now, I think it's apartments, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it knocked it down. It's long gone now. Yeah, the wonder stuff with air, pop yeah. elite itself. Ned's Atomic Dustbin. Ned's Dustbin's Atomic Dustbin as yeah. well. <laughs> That was so cool, that place was. <coughs> yeah. So, and um, Tom, percussion? Yes. Oh, Cajon as well, yeah. I see. Just the Cajon today. Ah. I've uh, left the banjo and stuff at home. So. Oh, fantastic. What was the, when you recorded, um, I've forgotten which track it is, there was a keyboard with a mouthpiece. Oh, yeah, to somebody yeah. with, like me with asthma, it's a, the worst <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> but, <laughs> how, what is it? Where? Uh, uh, it's a melodica. So it's like just a keyboard that you, yeah, you blow to play. Um, it just look, looks like a kid's toy, but uh, it's pretty good. It just looks like, like it's like them breathing tests I go for with my <laughs> specialist every month. You know, they give the tube and you sit there, and but there's no noise that comes out. But well, okay, so that was the first track. Uh, the next track is called uh, Jack of Hearts. Okay, guys, do you want to take it away? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Cold and bleeding without a Caught in her whip Couldn't resist her charms She had my number Right from the start While my heart In helpless despair And she bit me And left me
fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I love it. I've, I've, I've never told you this, but that's my favourite one off the, the oh, actual right, EP that you did. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah, you've got a cold as well. Like a, like a truth, but you've turned up. <laughs> I think everybody's ill this time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, all, we'll all be ill tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever you say, trust me. So, um, acoustic guitar. Yeah. Uh, we did some cool things. That I take, we, we, was they were your ideas? Uh, some of the samples, or were they somebody else's? I mean, like when we did the EP, kind of kick, kick, a kick drum, for example, are we allowed to talk yeah, about what you did? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's not a trade secret or anything like that. We, we used <laughs> it is in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we used a suitcase, one of our cases in the corner there, we used one of those. And a kick to, pedal. And a kick I pedal. Remember, yeah, I remember yeah. when you first. Some, said somebody you said to us, well, why don't you just use a. You would turn the pedal around, do it on a con, and then we were just like, well, a suitcase is just way cooler. I couldn't believe it. I could <laughs> not believe the sound that came out of it. Yeah, it was fantastic. So, it sounded yeah. like a heartbeat on the EP, I think. Yeah, and it was um, the other thing. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> um, the um, as well, we there's, there's part where there's a crackle on a record. Yeah. But you wouldn't opt for just a sample pack. I mean, in there we have sample packs and yeah, things yeah, of yeah. crackling yeah. records and seashells and all that kind of atmospheric noises. You were like, no, I want my own crackle off a vinyl record. And I thought, that's pretty cool, that is. Yeah, I brought in an old Bush uh, record player, you know, one of the ones with the flip lid. Did you find it in a skip, was it? <laughs> no, that's my record player, man. He's going to tell you it is. And I got an old, an old Frank Sinatra record, and I knew I got a bit of crackle in the beginning, and we just, you know, put that in, put a mic Mic'd in front it of it, and... Yeah. And we've got like the, the authentic radio. kind of crap. I like the radio tuning in. That's the yeah, yeah, and that, that, it was, that was the next one. It's like that, you know, we've got, I've got a sample for that. No, no. We, we're going to do our own. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. bought in a radio. I bought a little bush radio and just tuned it in. Yeah, just was that out the skip or was that? No, no, no. It's like sting in a dump or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk about this EP because those two tracks are on this EP. I That's take right, it. yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, <coughs> as far as the EP is concerned, whereabouts do you get it? Where can you get it? How do they follow you? Uh, obviously, we're on all the usual platforms, pla uh, Facebook, um, we're on Instagram as well. We're not on Twitter yet, I'll be able to sort that out. Uh, but yeah, we're, the EP is available on Bandcamp, yep. um, as you can purchase physical physical copies if you're local you just message us by Spotify the Facebook page well. uh, well. don't know don't go on Spotify because we don't get paid for that <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, just, uh, I can't say too much about that at the moment because something's pointing my way but we'll have yeah, a chat about that after yeah no we, we, we're on iTunes it's nice Amazon to actually music. It's nice to actually have something yeah, physical yeah the artwork you know and the artwork, artwork is so, into the artwork so stuff, cool you know. and um, you're sitting outside some very famous steps there yeah, yeah, that was uh, thanks to you and uh, Colin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cheesy lead-in from Yeah, us. that was cool, yeah. It's a cool place, isn't it? Oh, it was awesome, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a group we were going to watch. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. They all went down to um, Abbey Road, and you had the infamous Sean McGee. So a big shout yeah. to Sean, because I know yeah, he'd, be, yeah. he'd be listening online. He was um, fantastic. He's oh, such a nice so. guy as well. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. say that because this is pointing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, and went down, had the EP mastered down there, and it, it, kind of cool place, isn't it? Oh yeah. And the yeah. the picture, just it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. an iconic moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we just loved every minute of it. Unfortunately, I had a split in there that full day, but still. It's the pressure. Know, the pressure. Yeah. The pressure. Yeah. 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 You did go down the night before, didn't you? Yeah, it was a touch of it. Yeah. Was it hanging? No, no, I was just ill. I'm always ill. I'm always ill. I'm always ill. So, okay, so you've got Nothing to Lose Blues, Jack of Hearts, and your third and final track before you do your cover. Just right. finished writing this. Yeah, I did know this. I don't this know one. this one. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this one. I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just put no, your hand up and I'll, I'll do something. I'll do uh, something. Uh, uh, this, this one's called Sell Your Soul. And it's a kind of working title of uh, Sell Your Soul, an open letter to the leader of the free world. It's, and uh, where did the inspiration for this come from? Well, basically, this is um, this is my kind of political leanings, I guess. Right. Um, about sort of how certain world leaders are sort of in, seem intent on sending us down a, a path that's going to lead to destruction and war and. You know, and ignoring sort of all the signs that are out there about environment and things like that. I mean, it's just a song about that, really. So listen to the lyrics. Yeah, it's a very lyric kind of driven Take song. Take it away, guys. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Into the dark Fan the flames with your cold black heart Make a profit, disregard the cause Play God No, nothing of love Nothing of love Control is all you crave And you sell your soul for Taste the power in a rush of blood Souls are drowning in the flood Show compassion when the camera rolls You play God No, oh, nothing of love Nothing of love Control is all you crave And you sell your soul for An ego trip collecting dollar bills Bomb for oil, don't care who you kill Conquer hate with hate and fear You play God No, nothing of love Nothing of love Control is all you crave And you sell your soul for A gamble that will send us all to hell You looked away as the last tree Rape the earth till you had your fill You play God No, nothing of love Nothing of love Control is all you crave And you sell your soul The world will be better when you're gone You may be winning now but your time is almost up Change is coming, time to step aside Don't play God Give in to love Give in to love Grab it, give in to love And you sell your soul Sounded all right to me. <laughs> and that was called Sell Your Soul. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right, we normally do this with every band that we get in on a month to month basis. Is we go forfeit. Through. No, there's no forfeits. <laughs> there's no, uh, no challenges or anything. It's, um, it, we talk about highlights and then we also talk about the low bits, like worst experiences and best experiences on gigs and things. And why? Oh but do not. Yeah, and all bands normally start laughing at that point because you've all got the same image in your head. I guarantee it. Normally, um, but we don't mention the name no, of, of a venue. Not. Okay, so do you want to do the good or the bad first? Which one? We do the good, the bad, the ugly. The good and bad, the ugly. The good. Um, well, obviously, one of the highlights for us. Well, gig, just gig wise. Yeah, a best. I mean, your best yeah. experience. As, um, as a band, let's go down that route. Hot Fest, yeah, yeah, we played at Hot Although I did have a horse fly hanging off my arm for most of Hot Fest. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the best and worst moment happened at Hot Fest because the best gig for the worst moment was Dave's shorts and socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's true, yeah. That, that was a real low point, yeah. Were you festival dressed? <laughs> No, he wasn't. He had a vest in black shorts and trainers on. But yeah, that sounds like a festival dress. <laughs> and a flat cap. No, yeah, normally with wellies on. I think I've been drinking all afternoon because it's hot on me. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, we'll it does the weather, do We do a few gigs as like little kind of parties and things where people kind of ask you to play and you think, hmm. Why 
bother yeah, bothering. Why bother booking us if you just didn't ignore us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then you usually get in, in you know, you usually get really good feedback afterwards, after the event, but you think, well, why can you show just your appreciation at yeah, the event? I think a lot of crowds, they are, you know, if you get the wrong gig and, mm. you know, they don't know what you're about in no. any band, not just yourselves, any band at all, if they don't know what you're about and you get booked, they should, I think, the, you know, the promoter or whoever's doing the party should do the homework on the yeah, band yeah. and know that the crowd that they've got coming are going to be into that kind of sound. Happens yes. so many times. I mean, yeah. a band we had, not last month, I think it was the month before, and they were booked, and they ended up at some like major rock venue, and they were not, they were not, <laughs> so not rock. But they, as they said, we, we tried to rock it up a little bit, you, you know. But you can't change. Can you? No, this is that's your sound as a band. That is your, you know, your stamp. That's it. You have to be very strong. Not your confidence. You have to be very strong yeah. as a band and say, well, what we're doing... Well, this is what we do. What we, play is, what we play is quite eclectic. We play from sort of early Elvis Presley when he was at some recordings, you know, and then Johnny Cash, we do Hank Williams. So we do the country sort of rockabilly kind of thing, and then we also do a bit of soul, Sam Cooke, a bit of Prince, a bit of Bowie. We do, we do that Wake Me Up uh, song. Yeah, we, you know, it's 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 yeah. Why we did Cock and Magpie last week and that went down really well all those covers we yeah yeah you no go down way. really well in that pub atmosphere but I was gonna yeah. say yeah, yeah. You, you have, at the end of the day i mean you, you can be precious about all playing original music but you have to cater for your audience at the end of the day and music's music exactly it depends yeah. how you do it this yeah, is why we normally songs. ask you yeah. guys you know to c come in and do a cover and most bands are like, oh, cover cover band or whatever yeah, yeah, but yeah. even if you're an original band and you're on this sessions we want to cover yeah. Because we want to hear your interpretation of that song. Yeah. So, leading us on from that, <laughs> yeah. says by magic. It's like TV, this. Yeah, is. it's fantastic. Uh, what's your cover, guys? Uh, it's uh, Somebody Have Mercy by Sam Cook. Mm. Oh, two. Mm. Take it away.
fantastic. Absolutely superb. Thank you very much. Love it. Why choose that? What a classic. What a cool track as well. Sam Cooke is always going to... No, if you do anything from Sam Cooke, I would be like, yeah. One of, it's one of my, probably my favourite art, one of my favourite artists. Say I mentioned like, Frank Sinatra earlier, I know we're not like, really much like that, but I love Frank Sinatra, Sam Cooke, you know, they, those kind of artists, the real, the, the vocals is kind of like the, you know, the main kind of focus, I think. Fantastic version, absolutely superb. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to give this, this a real good plug. <laughs> because it needs to get out there. There's some great music on this, guys, and I'm not just saying because I heard it being recorded and stuff. It is cool. Well, thank you very much. So I really appreciate coming down today. It's no problem. It's been a pleasure, really been a pleasure again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we're, obviously, we're, we're sort of trying to uh, raise funds to, to record our next project, which we're hoping will be a full album. Um, so we need to shift these. Yep. We need to sell these. Um, it's just £5. Pound and it's available on our uh, Facebook page via the band camp. Um, obviously, if you message the page, we'll you know we can sort out if it's local delivery. I don't mind delivering in person. We can sign. Oh, <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah. We can sign uh, them. We can no, si- well, yeah. we, we hardly. We've been asked to sign them a few times. That's always a bit yeah, but that happens. Right. That's, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's a bit weird yeah. when people say, "Can you sign it?" Really? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's five pounds, so it's like a pound. Pound a track, yeah, yeah. and if you knew the blood and sweat that went into this, yeah, I was I mean, here for a week got, while these guys did this. I want to say as well, I mean, we, we, we had Rob Gruker engineer us, and that guy is absolutely incredible. His ears are like satellite dishes, it's just amazing. They're huge, Rob. Yeah, they're massive, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> See you Thursday. Um, they just hear things that nobody else can hear. He's, like, he's, he has, he's got like, um, yeah. what, it's, is, it, is it dogs or something that have that yeah, hearing yeah. range? And he'll sit there and go, Can you hear that? And I'm like, <laughs> and then you know again I mean because we you know we're all local guys and we all we all like sort of really appreciate the local music scene there's some phenomenal bands locally like Arcadia Roots and Stiff Joints and people like that there's so much talent so, yeah absolutely you know Leisha Green as well yeah um, you know and we, 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 we want to <laughs> for those who you know, don't know that's John's daughter on the bass <laughs> yeah. and we, you know we, we wanted to tap into that as well so we got um, we got George Allen from the Stiff Joints to play trumpet on a few tracks um, we've got a friend of ours called um, Chris Yates on piano on Jack of That Hearts. was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. You know, play, play this piano, was, which yeah, was I tuned know. On the morning that we recorded. Unbelievable. Um, and then obviously we got the Mr. Wally on, on banjo. Yeah, he, he just commented. Come in, just did a couple of takes and then buggered off and went to the yeah, give, give, give that guy a piece yeah. of paper and a comb and he'll come out of it with some kind of riff yeah. that you like. You know, so, and and uh, I just want to mention as well, you know, the, the artwork, obviously, it, you know, really something else and we really sort of proud of it and it was done by Craig Simmons as a local artist so we tried to very much tap into the local music and local art scene and we've just recorded a, a music video actually with Nick Townsend yeah Nick I yeah, know Nick yeah. week 13 that's it yeah, yeah. Um, I know Wick. Yeah, Nick Craig how you doing Roy. mate <laughs> we, we did a, a, ba- a, a video for Ballad of El Cubato which is one of the oh, tracks nice. on their EP we did it around a campfire and Oh, that's as much as I want to say, but you know, obviously, it's watch the video on Facebook. So, uh, yeah, keep so when's that you out? Do we? Really? Um, well, he's, I had a message from him the other day. He said he's two minutes into the video, so uh, <laughs> I think it'll probably be a couple of weeks, probably yeah, maybe three weeks. Cool. Yeah. Well, if you <laughs> tag, like thrilled, you <laughs> <laughs> he obviously knows Nick. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you tag us in, tag the studio yeah, in, and we'll yeah. obviously share it out there as well. Exactly. Guys, thank you so much for being in session with us. Thank you very much. It's lovely to see thank you all again. Thank you very much. If there's anyone yeah. listening, we really appreciate it. Yeah, really thank you. Appreciate it's normally, I, you can log on to it and play it again over the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, Dharma Bums. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello to Evie as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Evie. Okay, so if you're a up and coming local band and you want a bit of exposure, then come down to the studios or messages and we'll get you live on here to do the sessions once a month. Um, I think that's about it from us, uh, from me, uh, from Will, who's sweating profusely in the control room that you can't actually see, uh, engineering the sound as we do. Um, now we will see you next month, unless there's talk of a special Christmas one, but who knows. So we'll see you next week, next month. See you next month. Thank you for listening. Bye.